Jeremy, a lot of those holding out before turning on their heat might have changed that <laughs> given what we had last night. What about you, Scott? <laughs> that still has not turned on. What? It was uh, it was pretty cold this morning, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure you needed the extra layers, yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> well, next week you might have to crack, Scott, because we're going to have three days in a row of temperatures down in the 30s as overnight lows. It's going to be chilly once again, but not for this weekend. This weekend looks good, and maybe you plan on going out and enjoying some of the fall color across the area. And some of our counties already are seeing the best color, peak color for Tioga, Bradford, Susquehanna, Wayne, Pike, Lackawanna, and Wyoming counties, and the rest of us in central Pennsylvania and down through the Poconos, the southern tier, approaching that peak color. I'd say we'd reach it by next week, but if you're leaf peeping, Definitely the weekend to do it, especially your Saturday. Much better day than Sunday. And if you didn't see the color yet on the ground, I'm sure you saw it last night in the sky. This is one of the best pictures that came in from Josh in Center Moreland in Wyoming County. Look at the beautiful reds as the coronal mass ejections electrons from the plasma interacted with high level oxygen in our atmosphere above 200 kilometers. And we also saw this beautiful green color too, a little bit below the red. That's it interacting with lower level oxygen in our atmosphere. We got beautiful pictures coming in from Pittston, from Linda, really vibrant reds in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Beth from Kunkeltown captured the reds and that little sliver of greens along the horizon. Thank you for sending that one in from Monroe County. And Nathan, gorgeous. The reds, just vibrant last night. Hopefully you got a chance to see them because the auroras will not be visible tonight. No longer interacting with our atmosphere like it was last night. We'll need to wait for another solar flare off of the surface of the sun. And it's not that low of a probability. We're approaching our peak of our solar cycle. So the more activity that the sun has, the more of a chance we have to see these auroras. And if we ever have another flare that is Earth directed, and may cause auroras once again. You'll hear it first here on WNEP. There are lows this morning. Temperatures in the 30s for everyone here in Scranton. We woke up to 34 degrees, 11 degrees below the average temperature. Normally we wake up to 34 over a month from now on November the 18th. We haven't been this chilly for nearly six months too. We have not woken up to temperatures in the 30s since April 26th. So it's quite the change, but not enough to get Scott to put on his heat just yet. There's a live view from Williamsport. We got a beautiful sunset. Wow, like Cumming County, you're experiencing what a gorgeous sky. And of course, we're celebrating Halloween 20 days from now. Got lots of Halloween houses coming in, and this is one of my favorites because of all of the decorations Andrea has on her front lawn, but she also captured the glow of the northern lights, giving this a spe extra special spooky flair to it. Thank you for sending this one in from Mountaintop. Current temperatures now rebounded nicely into the 60s for everyone. Some of you in central Pennsylvania even touched 70 today. 68 right now in Lewisburg, now falling to the 50s for the Poconos, 57 in Thornhurst, 56 in Lake Harmony. We're up by four to 13 degrees warmer than we were 24 hours ago at this time, and winds are sustained anywhere from three to 13 miles per hour out in Mount Pocono. Beautiful skies across the entire state all the way up through New England and down to Florida too, so those dealing with the recovery from Milton have nice weather to be able to clean up. This low pressure system will bring us a chance for some showers very early Sunday morning and throughout the day scattered in nature on your Sunday. Tomorrow looks great though. Here's future clouds and radar remaining mostly clear tonight. Tomorrow morning looks great. Much of your day, sunny. Clouds start to enter by 8 p.m. tomorrow, and by 3.30, we could have some showers in our northern tier. They make their way southward towards the late morning hours, and we'll have on and off scattered showers throughout the latter portion of the afternoon. Take a look at this, though. Between 3 and 6, we might have some dry conditions, and that'll be good for outdoor activities. I did want to get the dog walking forecast in because Duke is just a cutie sitting there in the leaves. Barbara, thank you so much for sending that one in. If you're bringing your dog out for a walk, it's going to be a little bit of a chilly evening a little bit later on, but not quite as chilly as it was this morning. That's your seven-day temperatures in the 60s for your Saturday and Sunday, showers on your Sunday. And next week, Scott, might be the time to turn on the heat. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning, all in the 30s. Oh, he can handle that. I think yeah. maybe Scott can handle anything, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> thank you, Jeremy. You got it.